Hmm. Hello, darlings. My darlings, my darlings. Oh, what is with y'all's damn angle? Y'all been doing this all fucking week. I set your ass the fuck up, and then it's like the angle is lower than what I set it up as. Facebook, I'm really tired of you. I'm really tired of you. Let's see if I can adjust you while we're on here. Okay, well, the fuck? I almost messed up everything. Lord, let me... What is with the damn... Oh, y'all's angle is just tragic. We was about to have a great start to the show, and Facebook just tow it the fuck... Oh, y'all are getting on my nerve. Get over here. God, I'm going to have to go live again because Facebook is really tearing up the angle nowadays. I don't know what the fuck's wrong with this damn iPad. This shit done pissed me off and got on my goddamn <laughs> um, Hi. Hi, everybody. I'm so sorry um, that you had to bear witness uh, to that behavior that you just uh, have been witness to from me. Hi, I'm Boots. Uh, YouTube, you weren't ready either. I gotta wipe you off because the camera that I selected it to use, it ain't using. We've had technological difficulties all fucking week. Is it a retrograde or some shit going on? I have absolutely no idea. Hello, everyone. Hello, 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 darlings, 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 friends, Romans, countrymen. Lend me your ears. I've come to read the tarot, not destroy it. Hi, guys. Boots here. Hip-hop oracle extraordinaire. You already know this is where you come to for readings like pancakes, baby. Go ahead and give me pancake emojis in the comment section. Um, I am the uh, social media child. I'm on every social media reading the girls. And I read the girls 5 to 9, 9 to 5. And tonight, 69. How are you doing? How you do? Okay, so we have a fun-filled show tonight. Um, I know that you guys did not expect me because I've been off the schedule for quite some time, Chad. Uh, but everybody should know I'm broadcasting on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. If any of the angles are fucked up, go to the other platform, Chad. Just type in hashtag B W O T Z T A R O T, and you will be able to see me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How has you guys' weeks been? Go ahead and give me an adjective to let me know in the comment section. I'm going to say my week has been exuberant. That is the word that I'm going to use. Um, the word is exuberance. Mm -hmm. Bark, how you doing? Okay, um, so it was a good week. It was a rejuvenating week. I have a lot of projects going on, and I have a handle on all the projects that I do have going on. Uh, but first, let's go ahead and tell you guys what is available. The tip jar is open until the end of the show. The tip jar, somebody said their week was trifling. <laughs> <laughs> why, girl? <laughs> I actually want to know why. Okay, so, um, yeah, so let me tell you what's available, and I'm going to tell you what we're going to do tonight. Um, and then uh, I'll let you guys get off into your weekend. So, first of all, everything is 33% off using code TGIF. That is code TGIF. It takes 33% off of everything on my website right now. The tip jar will close after this show, so make sure that you get your orders in for the weekend. And you guys should know that uh, the turnover rate is 24 to 48 hours for me to re-correspond with you. But I've been very, very efficient this week. So let's just say 24. I want to get that down to 24 hours. But you guys be buying up everything. Last night we had squad readings. It was so good. It was a special appearance by Sir, my dog. Um, he was tearing up somebody wig, child. And the squad went up about it. And I really, really appreciated them for that. And I just have to say this to my squad, my gang. I fucking love the energy in that motherfucker. Like, we, it's such a digital family. And they really give a fuck about me. Like, you know, I'm such a, I'm in the public a lot. Um, and not everybody has great intentions for you when you are in the public like this. But squad is such a beautiful beautiful organization of spiritually enlightened individual buying breast milk for each other who can't afford it. It's beautiful. And uh, last night we had a great time. So I just want to give a special shout out to my private group squad. Shout out to you guys and I love you. <laughs> The sister group of squad is called My Coven, um, and we are working right now, okay? Y'all have an activity that's due before Sunday, by the way. Um, and then we are actually going to start moving things on a nationwide scale with the magic and witchcraft that I have taught to my girls. If you are interested in joining Coven, first you need to do, join squad, and then second you need to fill out that application. It was a $350 application before, but we knocked it down to $77 because I need 77 girls, and the number seven is very significant in terms of that group. So if you are Coven, if you are squad, drop your symbols in the comment section below. Yeah. Yeah. Those my girls. 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 And there's nothing you can do about it.
Those are my girls. Okay, so shout out to my girls. Make sure that you do your assignments or activities. You can kicked the fuck out. Um, squad, uh, you can't get kicked out unless you uh, are being shady, bullyish, or messy. And uh, we haven't had a lot of that in the public here recently. So I'm grateful about that. This weekend is about planning. I have three shoots next week. We talked about one of them, squad, um, that is going to go down on Tuesday with a whole bunch of children at my house. So I'm really excited to share that with you. But this Sunday, uh, you guys get dinner and a movie. Now, I don't know if I'm going to eat dinner for you, such as a mukbang, because I haven't really been doing a lot of cooking lately. Like, I'm going through phases. I am watching MasterChef. Are you guys watching MasterChef? I'm watching MasterChef uh, with... And Shanika is my girl. I always root for the black girl on there. And Shanika is so damn shady. And she got this long-ass weave ponytail. And her face be beat out the motherfucking frame. Y'all watching MasterChef? Her face be beat. I'm talking about her contour be as high as the fumes she be cooking with get her. But uh, she wrapped that ponytail right around and won that challenge last week. So shout out to Shanika, girl. You, you did that. Okay? You did that. But the tone of voice of that um, that last production was very grim, and I don't know if it was the challenge because y'all had the tag team and shit or whatever. But it, it, y'all 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 gave what needed to be gave. It was just a little bit more serious. Like if that was the first time I watched MasterChef, I probably wouldn't watch it again. But it was a good episode. It was a good episode. So that's what I typically watch to get inspired with my food and shit like that. But I ain't been cooking shit, bitch. I've been ordering, bitch. I've been um, splurging on snacks, bitch. I am addicted to beef jerky, bitch. I done found these new little um, cheese puffs. Um, you know, and I was buying the cheese puffs because Sherry's children was supposed to come over here yesterday when she did my hair, but they didn't make it because they didn't clean up the goddamn house, and I ended up buying some cheese balls, and I was eating them cheese balls, girl. I don't know why you playing that goddamn trombone, because them cheese balls is good. Now, honey, everybody knows I like cheese, and everybody knows I like balls. You put them together, I say, how you do? <laughs> been eating properly uh and it's been a very busy time for me so i need to get back on my nutritions um and i will get back on my nutrition you ain't got to worry about me you ain't got to worry about me honey that's what oh that'll do it <laughs> you don't have to worry about me you do not have to worry about me <laughs> okay so sunday um there's gonna be something food related dropped on the youtube but you really need to get into boots tv on sunday um like i've been uh, screaming for the past two weeks since we recorded it with Megan James at my home. We didn't just do a mukbang. We went ghost hunting at my house and she went to the studio to drop her verse on my song. And um, this is probably the most validating um, video that you will get in accordance to my gift. Okay, it was produced by Q Visions, who's also going to be producing on Tuesday. Um, and it's very, it's phenomenal. I, I, I've gotten chills watching it back. Because when you're in the moment and you're the medium or the psychic and stuff like that, like, you know, you, you just do what comes natural to you. You do what you're taught, X, Y, and Z. But to watch that shit back... Woo! It's, 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 it's bone chilling. It, it really is. So, um, I'm gonna put a, a warning level on the beginning of that video because if you pre prepare to get your mind motherfucking blown, okay? Did you find ghosts? I guess you're gonna have to wait and find out. The episode does come out on Sunday of this week, and I'm very excited about this production because I'm producing it. Like, I'm the one. And, and my whole mentality behind that was if Hollywood ain't gonna tangibly open up their doors, then I'm gonna do it my goddamn self. So, Boost TV is gonna rapidly evolve, and I plan on selling DVDs for the Christmas time period with some specials and behind the scenes stuff as well as a, a physical copy of my album so be on the lookout for that okay, okay. <laughs> we're doing good we're doing good we're doing good um other than that i've been outside <laughs> i know I've been uh, putting on my face. I haven't been taking my camera everywhere because I want to soak up the real world. Um, and I am steadily accomplishing and conquering my social anxiety every step of the way. I am currently off of Lexapro. Okay, I stopped taking it. I know, I know, I know. I stopped taking it. Lexapro is an anti-anxiety medication. And I was, uh, I, I discussed it uh, throughout the weeks of this month and how my social anxiety spawned because of embarrassment. I'm not a creature that knows how to deal with embarrassment. I don't get embarrassed very easily, okay? Nobody in the world has ever embarrassed me. I just take it and run with it. Like, I busted my ass graduating from the eighth grade. I laughed it off and walked the fuck on. Like, I don't get embarrassed. Well, there's a situation with somebody I dated right when COVID started, and it left my face a bit battered. Now, ain't nobody ever 
battered my face before. So I was embarrassed. And that plus COVID spawned me to have social anxiety. Um, and as an African-American, you know, in the LGBT community, being an African-American male, we do not take our mental health as seriously as we should. So um, I can I was grateful enough to afford um, a, a good therapist for the time until she got too starstruck and started wanting me to overly book myself with her schedule. I mean, this shit is crazy. Okay, being well-known is crazy. Having a spiritual gift like this is crazy. I mean, but at first she was really good and um, she prescribed me Lesopro and I started popping. She first prescribed me Xanax, but I started abusing Xanax just like I was abusing the cocaine I was trying to get off of. There's been a lot going on. Okay, but just know that if you have any ailments, if you have anything that you're trying to conquer or accomplish, go to God first. Get guidance from him. Let him echo throughout the physical people in your reality and do the work. I've been stepping outside. Me and sir have been going to dog parks. And I think I'm ready to start pulling up on people. So on tomorrow, I'm going to get my nails done in the morning. We're doing something red. Squad, give me some ideas if you don't mind. And then one of my girls, you know the girl who I did NBC with when they did that local story about me in Charlotte? Her name is R.S. Cole. Well, she's in the squad and she's very supportive. She was at my birthday festivities you can see her on episode two of boots tv well she opened up a motherfucking metaphysical store in gastonia yes bitch yes yes bitch yes 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 okay and the only reason I know about this is because she's in squad and she posted a receipt saying that I told her that she was going to open it. So I plan on surprisingly popping up on her on tomorrow. But it's not a surprise because I'm telling all the girls. Uh, but, you know, she just opened up a store. So maybe she's too busy to see that I'm actually going to pop up. But I'm going to pop up on her. But that means that my nail tech's going to have to work fast because they, uh, her, her debut is from 1 to 6. So I got to get there. My nail appointment's at 11. And just like my hair, I got to be sitting there uh, for a long time. It takes a long time to be this beautiful. I don't wake up like this like Beyonce, honey. But I still He'll pull it off when I get done up. machine to be on point today. You acting a little slow today, stream deck. Okay, so I need you to I need you to be on point. Um, so I'm gonna pull up on her. I'm gonna get my nails done. And I might pop out for a drink afterwards and go to the bathhouse and get my little dick sucked on. You know what I'm saying? I spell put a record in this record. Ooh. Selena wasn't Puerto Rican, bro. Selena wasn't Puerto Rican. No, she was Mexican. Shout out to Aunt Maddie, yo. I love T.S. Madison so much. And you want to know what's crazy? I, I I don't know if I told you this earlier this week. But we had a reading earlier this week. And um, she did not tell me <laughs> that that was her. I did not know that that was her. On that um, cozy from Beyonce. I did not know that that was Auntie. Um, but then uh, I talked to my friend Doramus, who, if you are following me on Instagram, we were uh, listening to Beyonce in the car together. Sometimes I call my friends just while I'm driving so we can jam together. This motherfucker started twerking in the goddamn office. I wish I would have screen recorded it sooner. Uh, but uh, uh, anyway. She told me that, um, yeah, that, that was her on the track. I was like, oh, my God. I'm so proud of you. And then she made transgender history as being one of the first and only individuals who made the top 40 on Billboard uh, being on Beyonce's song. So congratulations, Aunt Madison. You are making a way. And, 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 not only did you save me from Tamar Braxton's house in Los Angeles. <laughs> But you've never really changed. You, you mind your own business. And uh, me as your, your, your niece, I'll let you know that you are the Beyonce of the transgender community, okay? And then Amira Scott is like the Tyra Banks of the transgender community. You know what I'm saying? But hey, I'm not transgender, so you ain't got to worry about me. Woo, that'll do it. <laughs> You don't have to worry about me. You do not have to worry about me. <laughs> so what are you then, Boots? What are you? I'm a nigga bitch up in Geesh. I'm the motherfucking king queen. I'm a homegirl multiplied by a homeboy, bitch. I'm an experience. And you will take it up your ass. How you doing? Bark. How you doing? <laughs> I'm a perfect blend of masculine and feminine energy. And if you drink it down like a pina colata, I guarantee you will be refreshed. Somebody rock it, rock it never. And it's no shade. All right, um, what else is uh, going down in my world that I need to report to you? I'm ready for the weekend. Are you guys ready for the weekend? What do you guys got planned for the weekend? Uh, my mother's coming over here on Sunday because she don't know how to update her Shopify account. Uh, and so wish me luck with that. And if you haven't seen on my Instagram or, or my YouTube and stuff, me and my mother had a conversation today. I'm trying to get her to get a cat because I love my mom. But she is like 
clingy as hell right now, bruh. And I'm like, damn, like, can I be grown? She had this rule where I have to call her once a day. She's had this rule since I was a child. How many times do you call your mother a day? If you, if your mother's in your life, if not, I mean, I mean, maybe you could just relate by answering the question. But let me know how much is appropriate for you to talk to your mother when you get grown. What, what's the next? That's what I need to know. Two times a week. Right. 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 I agree with that. Right. Correct. I talk to her once every two weeks. Correct. And then the second, three times a week. Okay. So two, three times a week. Right. With my mom, three times a week. I don't know she can work it. Girl, if I have a sound, of, just work what? Okay. Bye, Ash. Have a nice day, Bye. I used to talk to my mom two or three times a day. And go by her home. Okay, so you got that close-knit bond. I don't know, like... Uh, okay, how can I put this before I start reading Orlando Brown? Um, I feel like because I'm the world, you can't contain me. So when people try to box me in or I'm your this or... I mean, I know I'm your son, sister. Like, I'm not saying that. But it's like, because I, I, I feel like my energy is multiplied and exacerbated amongst the masses, I can't be just contained. Like... Like, call you if I just, I, I, I don't want any constraints. I mean, so much so that I wasn't even working a schedule this last past of the summer, this past uh, month of the summer. You know what I'm saying? So, I want to release my inhibitions, feel the rain on your skin. And how organic would the conversation be if I didn't feel like I was forced to have to call you? But at the same time, I asked her a question today and I was like, do you feel neglected by me, mom? And she was like, no. But she's a Sagittarius. So, even if she did feel neglected, she wouldn't say any goddamn thing with her body. Mm. <laughs> Legs and hips and body, body. And I honestly feel like when I get children, and for those of you guys who want to know, I am going to have two children. I'm going to make the first one, and if it's a boy, his name's going to be Atlas. And I'm going to adopt the second one. And if, whatever the opposite gender is, is what I'm going to adopt. And her name is Jasper. I've been dreaming about my children, but it ain't time yet. So, squad, please stop telling me that I need to go ahead and adopt children. Wait till y'all see this video I produced Tuesday, and then you tell me if I need to have children. I, the, the okay, how can I put this? I like children, but the thought of children really does bother. It, it, it motherfucking bothers me. Woo, that'll do it. <laughs> you don't have to worry about me. You do not have to worry about me. <laughs> I mean, so, like, I had a, a nemesis at one point in time named Ajna Saran. She just made this video about fucking them kids. I, uh, you know, I can understand where she's coming from. But when I get around the kids, it's like, oh, my God, little people, come here. Let me teach you how to manipulate energy and curse your enemies. I mean, let me teach you how to have fun and, and, and love and life. And then, you know, I will tell you this, as a gay male, and this kind of corresponds with my coming out story a little bit, I guess you could say. But as a gay male, my mother made me tell my family. And again, this is prior to uh, the renaissance. Okay, I was her renaissance. So I brought her into the life so she knows, you know, how to how to treat somebody. But prior to that, she made me tell everybody in my family who had children that I was gay. Just in case, like, she don't want, they don't want their kids around a gay man. And I think that did something to me subconsciously. So I get nervous about the perception I have around children. Like, I don't want to ever, you know, I just don't want it to be no mess, bro. Like, you know, gay people already get a bad rep and the next thing you don't need to be called is a goddamn pedophile or, or, or something like that. So I'm very apprehensive about children. So what y'all don't know that y'all are doing for me is when you show me your children are watching me and are entertained by me, it feels really, really good. It feels like we're breaking a chain that I didn't know was there. And this is just me psychoanalyzing myself from a spiritual perspective like I always do. I do like kids, but I'm apprehensive about children and I feel like I need to get to be more comfortable about that uh, before I actually start worrying about having them. I don't necessarily see myself having children until I'm 42 years old. And that's the age that my mother adopted me. So I kind of want to continue that tradition. You know what I'm saying? So uh, yeah, just wait for the video on Tuesday uh, and we'll see exactly what goes down. Stand by. I'm about to deliver a celebrity reading. New salvation. New salvation. New salvation. New salvation. Uh, 
this tambourine just got caught on my ring and it just hit me in the fucking face. Do I have a bruise? Ugh. <laughs> oh my god. I can't have a bruise. I have shit to do. Uh, I should have listened to Jesus. Jesus said stop stop channeling him. Um during Jesus told me to stop mocking his ass during that channeling I had with him and I think he just popped me in the fucking face. Okay, well, I guess I'll play uh, something else before I start with this celebrity. Oh, yeah, before that, y'all know what this is? This is um ear candling. Have y'all ever ear candled before? Okay, so I've been seeing this on the internet, so I wanted to actually try it. I ordered this on Amazon, this brand right here. And I actually tried it when I was going through some shit where I wanted to try stuff. So, um, it, well, here you go. Watch to see how this went for me. Okay, so I'm going to cut that and put the ear candling video in there. Okay, let's try this again. I'm going to take a brisk break. Uh, this is my song, um... Which I want to hear. This is my song, Maxine. I'll be right back. Go ahead and give me bad bitch emojis and tell me what you got going on this weekend. Lord. <clears throat> uh, um. Get into Maxine. Maxine. She's the baddest bitch on that tape. That tape. She's the baddest bitch on that dance floor. Baddest bitch in that street. That street. She's wearing a bikini on that beat. That street. She's wearing boots on her feet. Uh, she classy with it and so sassy with it. She's a tactful killer and an athlete. She, she got, got a dad for a reason. Why you think she's different? She's just throwing out the house with one of your brains. Hopping to another nigga born again. Uh, Acting like she interested in making a man. Uh, Pull out the tool. Tizzy pops too. Maxine wins on the way to Berlin. Uh, she is the one. She's got the fun. Uh, she gets it done when she has a feel baby. She got the She's still a man. She don't give no damn when she handles her business. She is the one. She's got the fun. She keeps it done when she handles her business. She got the hand. She's still a man. She don't give no damn when she handles her business. She gotta get her nails. By Jim Boots, available everywhere. Okay, so uh, y'all know how we do with these nationwide stories. It's time to read uh, something stupid. Okay, uh, but I'm gonna go on ahead and uh, read it. So count me down from uh, ten. Damn, I forgot to put that countdown clock over here on the motherfucking um motherfucking uh East EPC my disco trap. Uncle Johnny made my dress that sweet spandex. She looks some mix. Bet you think it's small. Mm -hmm. We need to be thinking big. Mm -hmm. You need to be thinking big, bitch. Mm. You need to be thinking big, bitch. Think big, bitch. <laughs> okay. Uh, first of all, before I do that, let me get my mouth going by cussing out this bitch on YouTube. I made a comment on a video. Let me direct myself to YouTube as I'm talking about you. I made a comment on a video where I said, do y'all miss the old me? Like, I was talking about things I could change or shit like that. And this bitch came on there in the comment section and she said, we do not miss the old you. The old you was so drunk on the show when you first started all the time and we couldn't do X, Y, and Z. Let me tell you something, girl. If I open up the goddamn forum for you to render your opinion, your opinion need to be in agreement, okay? I don't need you judging my old self about how much I drank or how much I smoked or how much cocaine I used to do. You can kiss the blackest part of my ass over there looking like Ray Carew. This wasn't opening it up for you to render your opinion about me, okay? I opened it up saying, do you miss certain things about the show? Did y'all see that comment? 
Did y'all, I could have jumped your ass on the internet right then. But you lucky, Jesus is working on my heart. Okay? You know, I'm trying to interpret things in a positive way, bitch, okay? This is social media, but around here, this is a boots tatership. If you wanted to say that, you should have made your own goddamn page and said something about me on your own page, but you're not going to do that because you're scared of getting attacked by the squad. Go ahead and give me Bumblebee emojis. I'm going to go back to that comment, and I'm going to figure out who you is. I'm blocking your ass the fuck up out of here, okay? You know, I you know, I don't, I don't be forgetting stuff like that. I'm not that sensitive or whatever, but your ass, you was waiting to say something like that. Oh, we, <coughs> we love the new you. We love you. Don't get drunk no more. You, yes, I do. Ain't nothing changed about my drug consumption except for that substance abuse I ain't on no more. Okay, so don't, 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 don't do that. <laughs> Bitch Look, the, the bees is everywhere Okay, so let me go ahead and read Orlando Brown Let me count myself down <coughs> Let me get some smoke Give me some smoke, give me some smoke Okay, here we go Hold on, let me pull it up <laughs> Sorry <laughs> Let me pull it Let me make sure my, uh, my shit working Hold on Lord, I'm sorry, I started licking my lip Okay, here we go, okay, I gotta cover it <clears throat> <clears throat> Three, two, woe is me. It has come to my motherfucking goddamn gay attention that Orlando Brown says Diddy has some good osh gosh bagosh. Now, for those of you guys who don't know, the reading I gave with Orlando claiming that he got Bow Wow's Badussie or his boy pussy and he got some good pussy uh, by this interviewer that works for The Breakbeat. Um, and this is a new interviewing platform. And I really, really thoroughly am entertained by the faces of the interviewer. I don't know his name personally. I think it's laughing something. Uh, but I, I pin it to the, to the it, it should be displayed right now. But he is hilarious with his reactions. He just did an interview with Sukiyana. And y'all know Sukiyana. She's Suki with the good, good coochie. And she's looking for a lip. This is what Sukiyana said. Okay, I'm thoroughly... <laughs> Sukiyana is a vibe, bitch. She don't give a fuck. She's flamboyant. She reminds me of an unpolished version of Trina of our generation because, you know, Trina looked back at it and you can't help but look at Sukiyana. So shout out to Sukiyana for always keeping it real and a honey and humorously sexual in a way where I just get joy. And, and the interview, it was a great parent. He's a great interviewer. I think I might go after an interview with the break beat just to get and talk to that more than uh, the, the one to be doing out of anyway. Anyways, so since he did this interview with Orlando Brown, who claimed that he had Bow Wow's Badussie. Um, I did a reading on this, and it is the highest celebrity reading that I've ever done. So I'm really, really grateful for the receptivity I got on that. So thank you. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Well... Well, since that time period, nationwide stories have been a bit grimacing, so I was looking for something to actually uplift the mood. And uh, let's just say Orlando Brown definitely did that. This is what he says about Diddy. Lord, I'm sorry, I started licking my... Oh, hold on, wait a minute. This, this is what Lick. he says about Diddy. Lord, I'm sorry, I started licking my lip. Let me see him. I mean, yo, Diddy, you gave me the Ooshkash Kufmash. You gave me the Ooshkash Muaf. The Shushmash. Diddy. Yeah, son. You know what I mean? I mean, you gave me the Ooshkash Mwash. I love it, yo. I love it. You gave me the Ooshkash Mwash. And. <laughs> that Ooshkash Mwash. You know what I'm talking about, Diddy? Mmm. Mmm. So, basically, since the interview dropped uh, with Little Bow Wow and that uh, individual I just got done speaking about, uh, I guess he's going on some type of clout-chasing, crack-fueled promo tour uh, where he's talking about Ash Gosh Bagosh. Okay, um... <laughs> Um, 
I was uh, so thoroughly, hilariously entertained by looking at him, looking like goddamn Raz B sucked the backside of his testicles with a damn used Q-tip afro. You know, at this point in time, I need to go back to the other video and repeat something I said. Take Disney World the fuck out of Orlando, Florida. This motherfucker's on crack. This how I know. Now, everybody know I love my inebriation. Y'all know I like to smoke my weed. Everything that ain't it require a needle and some battery acid, a nigga bitch pretty much has done. How you doing, okay? I'm just trying to tell you what I know, tell you what How I feel. You do? Okay, but I ain't never touched crack. I be Whitney Houston to the bullshit. You know, crack is whack, crack is cheap. I make too much money to ever do crack. How you doing, right? How you okay, doing? Okay, so I had a run in with the crackhead earlier this year, and this crackhead had a lot to say as well, and I just can't help but seeing similarities from the crackhead doppelganger spirit I dealt with to the individual who I see right here in front of my face being Orlando Brown, okay? There's just this energy a crackhead has. Um, that, that that makes you think like, oh my God, like, are you even on this side of the planet? So let me elaborate real quick. There was this individual who's on crack cocaine who has absolutely no shame about it, mimicking me directly. Like, I mean, it was... It was phenomenally scary. I mean, if you saw the doppelganger situation, give me 20 emojis in the comment section. And he's still active to this day, but I haven't seen him. But this is what he said. I was smoking crack on live. That's me. That's me. Let me smoke crack on my live. <laughs> okay, girl, whenever that was, if I want to sit here and smoke crack on my... Not that's me. If you want to send me money for a reading while I'm smoking crack, that was on y'all. <laughs> okay, now I still read... But girl, I'm gonna shut up because now it's the problem. That's what he said. I I can't help but draw a spiritual linking to them. I mean, he talking about Osh Gosh Bagosh, and he's confident enough to say I smoke crack on live, and if you gave me money for a reading, that was on y'all. There's this crackhead energy that's running rampant with our black men who are rejects. Okay. Um so let's just go ahead and see if if he got Diddy's Osh Gosh Bagosh. That's what we need to find out. So I'm using the new ancient art of uh, reading the vapes because this shit don't require no reading. If you if you really believe that this crackhead has gotten Diddy's Osh Gosh Bagosh, then you're stupid. I will not waste my spiritual energy or my divine divination on reading this bullshit. But I will read Orlando and saying that you need to go to rehab. Taking it from somebody who been to rehab, black people are acceptable in there. And if you got the coin, honey, you can get high off sugar and dopamine. You don't need to get on that crack. You need help, friend. But I will say, I am thoroughly entertained by your antics, okay? You don't, you, you didn't want to even speak your name. These motherfuckers not even acknowledging what you're saying. But you are top billing right now because you're clout chasing it. Finally, people are talking about you. On a serious note, from brother to brother, okay, who has somebody who has recovered and struggled with their own addictions, bro, we got your back, but you don't got to do this to get attention, friend. Attention is not money, friend. Attention is not a job, friend. Okay, I used to make the same misconception. If I'm the loudest one in the room, then people will take me seriously. But being the loudest one in the room, you want to be loud for a reason, not loud for saying that you're fucking these niggas on the low. Now, do I believe that there's some homosexual activity that goes on in the industry that we don't know about? That's every community. Every community, there's some DL gay shit that, it, that goes on. Okay, but you're capitalizing on it. And if you really are a homosexual, you're giving homosexuals a bad name. We're not going to claim your ass. So I suggest go to rehab, then go on an apology tour and then drop something that we can capitalize on, okay? Because right now, you're making a fool out of yourself, but an entertaining fool out of yourself. So for that, I'm grateful. So thank you, Orlando. <laughs> okay. Thank you very, very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. But if I see another video about you talking about Ash, Gosh, Bagash, or some type of Kapash, or, or even if you're talking about caviar, because I know your ass can't afford it, it's going to be a problem. Because now it's a problem. Okay? God, God, God be with you. Lead him to the path of sobriety and, and stop talking about people's Ash, Gosh, Bagash. Wait a damn minute. Okay? Because that will do it. Woo! That'll do it. <laughs> Have to worry about me. You do not have to worry about me <laughs> at all. 
Okay, so that's has been your next one ride. Humorous and hilariously funny reading. I hope you guys enjoyed it very much. I enjoyed doing it. Hold on, I don't want to put away my vape that I'm actually using. Oh, no, it's over here. Okay, so we good. Um, so sometimes I will read the vapes if something is dumb. Uh, and uh, Orlando, you just, you just, you just got that. Okay. <coughs> you just got that. Stand by for the readings for the general public. I hope you were entertained. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns about anything that was spoken about prior to, just scroll the video back, and I'm going to try not to play any copyrighted music so I can actually keep this video up. Give me two seconds to reset my mind. And is YouTube still on? Because um, I'm over here, and that's why I kind of got sidetracked a little bit, because it looks like... It looks, it says I'm still streaming, but I don't see the actual stream up here. Let me. Okay, I'm still here. Beautiful. Um, am I still on here? Yes, we're, okay, so y'all still can see me even though I am not, I don't have the control room up. That's so weird. Okay, so I got a little paranoid to see if y'all are still over here, and you guys are. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with the readings that you guys paid for. If you have any questions, you can feel free to drop them in the comment section. Right now is your time to get a drink because once I start, I ain't gonna stop. Okay, matter of fact, how in the hell I'm gonna stop anyway? I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to stop being crazy. How? 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 I'm gonna stop. <laughs> Be right back. You got me fucked up thinking that I'm gonna take shit. I'm a badass nigga in your bitch's outfit. I'm good at any hood, never ever disrespect. Just I graduated college smoking hella cigarettes. Trapping gas, shit. throwing parties, making certified chips. Bitch, I rip a city council cause they try to stop my back. I'm the king, queen nigga, not a motherfucking thing. So I throw my motherfucking flag That's what they call me back then Step in the room, you talk shit with your friend Real know what real is, I dap up my kid But the ones who don't speak be the ones on the fence Jump off the fence and fly in my DMs Don't speak in public, but fuck it game in Now this when you see a proud one of them Be the first one in church You said get on him Oh shit, you got a girl now, nigga? What? Nothing, you just that time in my phone now, nigga? What? IG stalking, only talking for a minute. Now you blew it out, talking about it's just a little business. I think that's called gay but hey. All eyes on me when I walk in the gate, bitch. You come to the bow, you know a nigga, bitch, is play. Tell your girl, you want my thinking that you'll be a little late. Oh, disgusting. Better learn, cuff. You can't trust them. Try to educate like I teach in Berkeley. While I'm here, beating your butt, oh, it's hurting. Yes, I got the food. For a dick shit, you try me. Want to knuckle up? You go get you an IV. Come to the club, shake your legs like it's dread from the crime. I'm barely so big, cause I eat well and jack out. You fucking big like this shit is a star. But now you ain't for trying to bounce back like it's ping pong. You ain't gonna do shit. I'm a badass nigga in your bitch's outfit. I'm good at any hood, never ever disrespect. Since I graduated college, smoking hella cigarettes. Trapping gas, showing parties, making certified checks. Bitch, I rip a city council, cause they try to stop my back. I'm the King Queen, nigga, not a motherfucking thing. Bitch, you're talking gang shit, so I throw my motherfucking flag. I'm taking you somewhere over there. I'm taking you somewhere over there. I'm taking you somewhere over Somewhere over the Boots Got album, Jim Boots. Look it up. It's time to read you girls, okay? Let me read you girls into a good fucking weekend. Um, and then I'll be back tomorrow to post the Orlando reading. And that afternoon tomorrow, I'll be posting a preview of the ghost hunting that goes down. I am caught up in the tip jar, 24 to 48 hour turnover. Let's go ahead and get it cracking. And if somebody doesn't mind, YouTube is having some technological difficulties right now. Could you please go over there um, and tell them to come over here on Instagram and Facebook? I don't want anybody to miss the show, especially if they pay for a reading. So let me, uh, please do that for a nigga bitch up in I would thoroughly, thoroughly appreciate that. When will I get approved for my credit card line increase? Guy, thank you. This the month of October. I feel like this could also be the tail end of September. This could be like around September the 30th um, or going off in. It's that last part of September going into October. You will have a credit line increase. General reading for Tara. You have Maxine. Y'all yeah, just heard her uh, song. Maxine just shows up here. Uh, encouraging you to have confidence about an endeavor. Be very, very vigilant about something that you want to accomplish. Your hair looks amazing. Thank you. Sherry does a good job. Make sure you look her up on my Instagram page. When will I get my apartment next month for Chunky? Okay, the totem card shows up in reverse. 
Oh, and I, I see you guys over there on YouTube, so thank you. Uh, this is next month for you, okay? Could I have a general read, please, for So Sweet Lexi? You have the strength card in reverse. You're giving somebody else your power. Take your power the fuck back. Sometimes people come back in your life so that you can get your power back, okay? They ain't been delivered. I'm not gay no more. I am delivered. I don't like men no more. I said I like women. Women, 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 women. <laughs> I said, women, I'm not gay. I would not date a man. I would not tear a purse. I would not put on makeup. I will, I will love a woman. Now, li listen, y'all praise God with him. L hold on, wait a minute. Hold just one minute. Now, either you gonna believe this stuff or you ought to stop preaching it. If you can't praise God with him, you're an unbeliever. Now somebody believe God with him. Hey! We don't just preach condemnation. We preach reconciliation. I reckon style. Don't get nobody your power, girl. Don't get nobody your strength, girl. Okay, that's what I gotta say about that. Okay, where I'm at? Donation. Ho. Oh. Ho. Oh. <laughs> you done took my humorous activity and made me blush. Uh, Karina gave me a $50 donation and she didn't even have a. a, a uh oh, the caption is my new bestie. Hold on, girl. Hold, hold, hold on, girl, because it's gonna be a problem. Because now it's a problem. We ain't best friends. But I love you. Thank you for my donation. 50 bucks to start off the show. That, so thank you very, very much. Mr. Worldwide, I'm out of shape as fuck. Can I have a love reading, please? Um, the Brandy card shows up in reverse. Sometimes humbling yourself to the vibration you want is necessary in terms of acquiring it. So I do feel like love is around you, especially in the second week of September 2022. This can be somebody that you already know, though. Okay, um, just make sure that your guard is down as they are getting reacclimated with you. May I have a good news reading? And the good news readings are available. They haven't been available all week, so they're available right now. Queen Fraser shows up in reverse. <sighs> Reconciliation is amongst you. I also say, Sierra, that this is a feeling of forgiving yourself, too. And that's a hard thing to do, okay? Um, I don't have any tips on that. I don't know what to tell you to do to forgive yourself. But I will tell you that with a little bit of time, faith, and magic, anything is possible. I've forgiven myself for a lot of situations that I've gotten myself into throughout my livelihood here recently. Um, and if you're struggling with that, raise your hand so that, you know, we know we're not alone in our struggles or things that we go through. Should I get the eye surgery for juicy? Mezzanine shows up in reverse. I would uh, make sure that the physician is uh, legitimate before I do this, but this says yes. Um, hey, Boots, can I get a good news reading on love? Yes, Janae. Zion Boots shows up uh, upright. This is basically someone who would have been a bit more lazy when it comes to you. Um, this could also be like you're not putting a lot of effort into making a love vibration or love situation happen for yourself. That is changing with the recognition that that is what has been going on. So with me giving you this reading, your love vibrations will change. Shoot your shot and don't uh, shoot for anything less than you deserve at this time the yes or no question down here will i get one of the remote positions i applied for yes you will uh so as you can see the elder is distant from the duchess in my tarot deck the duchess is in reverse the duchess talks about potential in reverse it talks about affirming things for oneself so i do believe that you will get the position that you are asking about and for some reason the numbers two and eight show up in my mind maybe this would be the 28th of this month so report back to me and let me know do my ancestors have a message for me what up my squad girl keisha keys the shade shows up in reverse be real with yourself okay so all of this is talking about forgiveness from your reading to this reading this is saying that you're gonna have to address and be real get out of the state of delusion that keeps us bound to a narrative that's not factual we lie to ourselves all the time okay just so that we don't have to face the truth this is saying face the truth ray caruth okay that's what it says wait a damn minute girl shut your ass up bitch ain't nobody ask you nothing hey daddy will i get a celebrity client soon daria what did i fucking tell you about asking multiple questions? the same goddamn question you asked this question two weeks ago! Damn! Do you think... No, damn! I told you! Where, 
where's my mm -hmm. stop it I have never in my life yelled at a girl like this when my mother yells at this it's because she hold on and not only that bitch you bought a yes or no question hey daddy will I get a celebrity client stop it I have never in my life yelled at a girl like this when my mother yells at this, it's because she loves me. I was rooting for you. We were all rooting for you. How dare you learn something from this? When you go to bed at night, you lay there and you take responsibility for yourself. Because nobody's going to take responsibility for you. You roll in your eyes and you act like this because you've heard it all before. You've heard it all before. You don't know where the hell I come from. You have no idea what I've been through. But I'm not a victim. I grow from it and I learn. Take responsibility for, for yourself. yourself. Yes. You trying to break my soul. Patrice, stay out of fucking customer service. Every time you use customer service, Patrice, you don't want nothing. Stay out of customer service, Patrice. Stop it! <laughs> Let me try to get back on track. When, 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 see, you always in order. I, I'm going to get to you. Over there on Facebook, we're praying for you, girl. Pray for him, William, because I don't know what else to do. Um, Got to love Tyra sometimes. What to come for my finances and career? Just for tab and stuff. The Queen King shows up in reverse. When you get out of the mentality that you're doing everything alone, you actually start excelling with your career. Partnerships are pivotal with where you're trying to go. So partner with somebody today. Will my daughter's doctor's appointment go well tomorrow? Zombus is in reverse. Yes, you will get good news tomorrow uh, it, regarding your daughter's bill of health. So congratulations on masturbations for your daughter. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, we have uh, Win C. I miss him a lot. I'm always thinking about him. How do I, how do I say goodbye, Brandon, for what we had? Hey, what's up, ladies? I want everybody to have a good weekend. And uh, if you want to be like that ghost I fuck with, holler at a nigga bitch in the DMs. DM boots after like midnight, because that's when I'm running the show. And we can link up at the big house. You know, I eat that twice. Brandon! So that's what you've been trying to do when I go to sleep and get my beauty rest? What beauty rest, nigga? You don't need no beauty rest. You're already beautiful. <laughs> well, thank you. But you need to stop fucking stuff. You already got ghost herpes, nigga. What is you trying to get? Ghost chlamydia? Hey, bro, well, if I got it, you got it. Because we the same person. He right. Three month read for Wednesday. I miss him a lot and I'm always thinking about him. How do I um, get him out of my mind and heart boots? Get up under somebody else in time and patience and energy. You might stay in this energy for at least eight months. But I will say that this is a soulmate encounter happening in the month of October if you're open to it and not bound by the depression that this man put you in. I'm not going to say that this works for everybody. Getting up under somebody to get over somebody. But hell, this works for me, bitch. I got about 12 disciples. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. It's about 12. <laughs> Okay, but this says you start to rectify this emotion in November and December, and heartbreak ain't easy to get over. Uh, but it, but if you distract yourself, you let time pass, and there is a spell on my website to change the energy spell that is very, very popular. It's one of the most popular spells I have aside from the new home spell that got me my lavish house. Uh, so uh, look that up, and that could assist you if you are a working witch. Now, if you've cursed, I mean, if you've casted the change the energy spell in the comment section, give me your pair of dice and tell me how it went for you. April Lee Garlic, you are down here for your weekly reading. Good news about anything you want. You got it. Well, I ain't got to uh, pull too many cards on you. Pan is upright. Luck and lucricity is a must you. Now, the Light Chief card is in reverse. So, this is good favor, good luck. I would go to the casino with this energy. I would, uh, I wouldn't play. Look, let, let me tell you something. If I knew the lottery numbers, I wouldn't be telling you.
Okay, I don't believe in the lottery. I believe the lottery is a fucking scam. Um, and I might, you know, let me let me watch what I say. No, I'm gonna go ahead and say it. I feel like the lottery is a scam because I can't read it. I feel like it's rigged. I feel like they hire somebody and they take care of them for life. They fit a role. Um, and I think this is the largest money laundering scheme that has been in existence since the lottery has existed. I do believe in scratch offs because they are owned by uh, private organizations that sponsor the actual scratch off ticket. But if it's run by the government or the nation, I don't believe it. I think that they hire people who are in poverty, say, I need you to say this, we're going to put you up, we're going to take care of you for the rest of your life, but I don't, do you really feel like somebody's just going to buy some numbers and get a billion dollars? This is the biggest scam that I've ever I've ever seen, like, and I, so don't ask me about no lottery numbers, but you can ask me what your lucky numbers are, but I feel like with this energy right here, go to the casino, girl, you're going to hit on a good motherfucking scratch off, honey, and that's no motherfucking goddamn gay shade. No okay, um, so that's good news for you, Miss April Garlic. I love you very much. Thank you. Um, who is this? Damara. May I have a love reading, please? Yes, Asia and Josh show up upright. You're going to be torn between two exes. Okay, um, this is happening towards Christmas, and my new baby daddy just takes me. This is going to be around the Christmas time period of 2022. Uh, I say choose the one that you have the most history with in this situation, okay? Scratch offs are the shit, girl. And if you go to Squad and you scroll back to year 2019, I bought five scratch offs. I hit on four of them after I anointed it with my lucky oil. Um, do you guys remember that? Give me four leaf clover emojis. And you can't make this shit up, bro. Like, you can't make it up. I did. Uh, they saw me go to the gas station and buy the scratch off. Then we came and we did a squad readings and I scratched it out and I hit on four of out of the five ones that I actually hit. And the one I didn't hit on, I didn't put my lucky oil on. Bitch, you gotta believe in something. If you believe, if you don't believe in nothing, you'll fall for anything. And most of y'all too busy fouling. Most of y'all too busy fouling. Can y'all still hear me? Y'all are going dead over here. Hold on, right quick. Let me um, let me uh plug y'all the fuck up. Hold on, let me see. <clears throat> Let me plug y'all the fuck up. Let me, let me, let me plug y'all the fuck up. Hold on one second. Can y'all still hear me over there? Holla if you hear me, ho. 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 Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. I'm gonna plug y'all up right quick. Oh, that lash is on. Boot slash. That store opened up. What day, squad? What day did that store open back up with the boot slash 2.0 and 5.8 and 7.2 and Electra? Uh -huh. Do you see me and my son Andrew coming back together after the last argument, especially since my birthday is tomorrow? You will get a happy birthday from him, but that's about it. He is very upset with you. Oh my God. Like, I feel like this might persist in the next year, girl. What the fuck did you say to your child? Um, this is what I'm gonna say. Reminds in reverse, you. You won't get a happy birthday, but don't expect no Thanksgiving and no Christmas festivities. Around the beginning of the year, there's going to be a need. If you feel that need, there will be re reconciliation there, okay? That's what I'm going to say. Lord, just do the cause. Um, general reading for germ. Hey, germ. All right, we have blue that shows up in reverse. Blue in reverse basically signifies the repairing of disappointment. So something that has recently brought you disappointment will be prepared if you keep an abundant and, and uplifting or crescendoing mind. Yes, we get in a bad place, but we always have to look to the hills that come with our health, and our help come from whatever God you choose to attune your energy to. Y'all know what I want to do. Y'all know what I want to do right now. You know, forgive me. Somebody right and in devil. If you're a dude and you're watching me and you want to talk to me and flirt with me on camera, give me eggplant emojis and I'll call you in. Okay? Okay? I, I, wanna, I, wanna, I wanna bring back Dateline. I had to scroll back to get Parker McKenna's receipt today and I saw that one time on the show I was calling a whole bunch of niggas. And I wanna do that again. So, where the niggas at? Somebody rock and knock and devil. <laughs> oh, they got one right there. You like a child. The most city dying. See, that's what I was talking about earlier. That's what I was talking about earlier. How the gays get to you. You like a child. I can't fuck with you. Okay? No, I'm not. No, 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 no way. There's no way. <laughs> Relationship reading for Kiara M. If I see eggplant emojis, I'm calling. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. 
Twin flame energy is manifesting itself next month for you. This is towards the beginning of September. This to me feels like the 8th, 7th through the 8th of September for a soulmate encounter. I feel like it's going to put a lot of energy aside from the drama you've been going through. So I'm going to suggest be open-minded around September. If you've been talking to somebody, you'll finally, um, you know, kick in the caboodle, I reckon. You know, I said I reckon yesterday to my hairstylist. She said, she said you country. I never thought, look, I mean, I can get into a real country top accent if I really want to. You know what I'm saying? I reckon that if you hit me up directly, I will be able to correspond with you. You know, I like my hog mog and my pigtails. And you know, sometimes I cook the pigs for the dog outside. And, you know, I, I, I'm i really from North Carolina to the point you would think I was Boomhauer from King of the Motherfucking Hill. You don't understand the goddamn thing he's saying. But I do. I get everything he's saying, child. Emmanuel, <laughs> do not do it. Emmanuel, don't do it. Emmanuel. Don't. Do it. Starting dating someone new. How will the relationship with Josh go? Terrible. Don't be too open about this individual. He likes to manipulate based upon the knowledge that he has. I hate people like this. You be open-minded and so honest and, and bear your heart and your bosom and your titties and your stretch marks on your tits and ass like Beyonce was talking about. And he's going to double back around and use that to manipulate you. Be careful about this. However, if you stand strong, this individual can love you like no other. But it's a catch-22. He need a strong bitch. So I would be... Not secretive, but cautious on what you disclose. Do you know what I'm talking about? Those people who do that, like, they'll, they'll present themselves in a way that makes you want to divulge your whole life's motherfucking story. And the next thing you know, he was like, well, this ain't, this ain't when you got raped. What, nigga? What? Like, and then you're whole, then you're like mind fucked to the point you want to figure this shit out. And the next thing you know, you spent three years trying to figure some shit out and then wasted your goddamn time. Be cautious on what you disclose in the beginning of this relationship is what I'm going to fucking say, okay? A general reading for beauty. Let's see. Pharaoh shows up in reverse. Get back into your cosmetological bag. There is something that you put to the side that can actually be very beneficial towards you. So I suggest that you revisit whatever that is because you have a career limelight happening in the month of October and November. And you need to be prepared for that in the month of September, okay? Boo, should I try to still make it work with JP? Please don't say the name on live. Upsetting me in my home, girl, because we feel like, well, damn, if you can't go to prison, where the hell could you go? Girl, it would have paid you to tell me that as I'm reading it. This says no. You're going to grow very bitter with this individual. Eddie, I cannot wait to see you in September. Like, I haven't seen you in so long. And I know that you have a lot of Caucasian news to catch me up on. Eddie is my Caucasian magi who's very, very gifted as a spiritualist. Um, and I haven't seen him in quite some time. And if you want to see me, the first week of September, my books are open. So you are able to book an appointment right now. And um, I don't know if I told you this, but the code TGIF takes 33% off of everything throughout the weekend. Eddie, I can't wait to see you and catch T. How's your sister doing? Is she good? Will I finally graduate in uh, 2023? Bruella, no. Girl, what the fuck are you doing in there wasting funds? No. Mm -mm. You in there wasting funds, wasting time. You went to school for a refund check, didn't you? That's what you did. You went to school for you need to you need to get your ass back in the book. Bruella's in reverse. Now upright, Bruella would have would have passed by any means necessary. In reverse, this is failing by any means necessary. And uh, you know, uh, I think I think I think we need some good news. Hey, you heard about the good news? Yeah. Well, I heard about them giving me two minutes to get up off of here. Look, if you purchased anything from the tip jar, 24 to 48 hours for me to correspond with you on a personal level. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. Uh, meet me on my YouTube on Sunday to where we are going to uh, debut something that is extremely, extremely uh, pivotal uh, when it comes to what I'm capable of as a spiritualist. And I hope you guys enjoy it. I just got the video dropped off to me right before I went live here. Uh, with that being said, I love you guys so much. Subscribe to the newsletter. I will send one out in the morning. Um, and again, 24 to 48 hours on your readings. TGI takes a 33% off of everything throughout the weekend. This is my song, Care. I care for you more than you know, and I will see you guys next week. Have a good weekend, everybody. Peace.